Hello, my wonderful Sagittarius. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today's video will be your general reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay. So we have the card, Be the Real You. Freedom, authenticity, uniqueness, courage. Okay, so keep in mind, guys, these cards also have a shadow message as well. I am going to be diving into the guidebook. This is a new deck of mine. But for, you know, what I'm getting as I'm looking at the card here, it could be that you guys are either stepping into your purpose or you feel like you are expressing yourself in a different manner this week, but it feels more authentic to you. Okay. For some of you, maybe you are kind of, uh, you know, in a field per se, where you feel like you can't really express yourself, whether it's creatively, uh, you know, or you may feel like you're just not yourself you know, at this time. So this card pretty much is giving me the energy of, you know, stepping into the real you, like it says here, or embracing your unique qualities. Um, so this is the card number 15. Okay, so be the real you. Congratulations on one of the true spiritual secrets. Your dazzling personality and your freedom of expression have the angelic word in awe of you. Your aura colors are bright and beautiful and people around you can feel it even if they can't quite put their finger on what they're experiencing. Not only is this benefiting you, but also you're setting an example for others to live their truth. Keep shining your light because the world needs this kind of joy now more than ever. Yeah, I, it seems to me that you guys could be stepping into your power or people are viewing you as someone who's unique, but in like a very positive way here. Okay, so... <clears throat> This card also speaks about courage. So, you know, just being yourself, even if you feel like it's different, even if you, you know, kind of just being yourself and not fearing judgment or not fearing the opinion of others. And the shadow message of this card is everyone is unique. Everyone has an important part to play in the dance of life. It has been our experience that the more we are our true authentic selves, the more life blesses us in all ways. When this card is inverted, your guardian angels and, um, Archangel Jophiel are standing by you, encouraging you to love who you truly are. They are reminding you that you're never alone. They are always with you, waiting for you to bloom like a rose in summertime. Consider doing some mirror work by saying to your reflection just how amazing, brilliant, and wonderful you are. So for many of you, you know, positive affirmations or maybe even writing things on your mirror, positive words could um, assist you this week. The way that you speak to yourself is really going to be, um, you know, crucial here. So for your color activation, we have pink and green. So pink energy is embracing you with self-love and confidence. The color green is gently boosting your self-expression and allowing you to speak your truth. And the color green is also associated with your heart chakra. So it's like doing what makes you happy, right? Doing what um, pleases you and not really worrying about what makes others happy at this time. I think that you guys are operating from a heart space here. Or from your heart space, I should say. Okay, so let's see what your financial message for the week is. So we have two cards that wanted to come out for you guys. We have make it work. You have all the tools you need to succeed, but you have to put in the effort. You excel at working with your hands and fixing problems. Okay. So for some of you, you could be artist. Okay. Maybe for others of you, it's just something to do with your hands. You could fix things. Maybe, maybe I'm speaking to some engineers here as well. Um, you can pull apart things and put them back together, but more than anything with you have all the tools you need to succeed. This card kind of gives me the energy of the uh, magician card in tarot. So you have what it takes to uh, take things to the next level, or you know enough to get something started here. Okay. It's just about taking that first step and like it, you know, like the card says, they're putting forth the effort. The second card that wanted to come out for you guys is direction. Your purpose is unfolding slowly, step by step as you go along. There's no need to hurry or worry. You are being divinely guided. 
Okay, so for some of you, this is confirmation, you know, if you're wondering, am I on the right path? Or, um, you know, am I paying attention to the signs in the correct way? Or am I receiving the signs correctly? I think that you guys are either very close to stepping into your purpose, or you are walking in your purpose, but it's kind of unfolding little by little is what I see here with that card. I also feel, guys, that like you're receiving clarity and answers as you go along. So you're not receiving all the answers that you're seeking, uh, you know, overnight. So there is something to do with patience here as well. Also, uh, you know, a message about trusting the process instead of rushing the process, um, because it does say there's no need to hurry or worry, you are being divinely guided. So even if something doesn't make sense to you, uh, you know, when it comes to your purpose or path in this current moment, it will make sense because I do see you receiving answers or clarity as you, um, you know, progress or move forward. Wow. So we have the star card on the bottom of the deck here and we have the magician. And I did say, guys, the first card reminded me of the magician card in tarot. So that's interesting that it's coming out here. Um, this is very powerful energy. This is master manifestor energy. This is when things are flowing to you. Um, so I think June is going to be a very positive month overall. But this week you are definitely, yeah, something is working out in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune was peeking out as well. But um, you could be receiving a lot of public recognition for a skill that you have. This is something to do with your skill or a gift that you possess. And people around you really looking up to you or you just receiving recognition for it. Okay, some of you, what you need to hear is you're meant to be seen. You know, if you feel like you're isolating or if you feel like you are, um, you know, not really showing your gift because, you, you know, there's some doubt or there's some fear. It's time to, you know, just step into your purpose or just be yourself and you would be surprised at how many people actually gravitate towards you. There's something about not hiding and needing to be uh, seen by others because I feel like, you know, people would not only learn from you, they would actually, you know, enjoy your presence and engage with you here with that magician as well as a star card. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Swords. You're receiving some sort of a break, Knight of Cups. Like this could be, um, you know, a load that you have been carrying for a very long time. This could be emotional baggage. This could be um, feeling overworked, that sort of thing. But Ten of Wands, guys, it also speaks about, okay, Three of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Wands, it also speaks about kind of putting forth a lot of effort, but feeling like your effort is, you know, not being recognized or feeling like as much as you're working so hard towards something, it seems like a waste of effort, even if it's not, because you're not receiving your uh, desired results here. Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords, okay, Six of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Moving away from a mentality of lack is what I see here. Um, now, we do have the Three of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands here, Knight of Cups. Okay, so the main thing that I'm getting, guys, is like something that you have been working towards, you know, maybe you feel like, you know, you're putting uh, in a lot of effort daily when it comes to your business, but you're like, why are the results not showing? Or why it's, it's like working towards something and feeling like your desired outcome is not really occurring here. So I see that coming to an end because you may be finding a new way to do something with the fool card. Okay, with the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups, you could be celebrating something this week as well, whether it's just, you know, a gathering with your friends or, uh, you know, maybe it's a family member's birthday or a wedding. There's something here that you could be celebrating this week. It could even be something that's occurring when it comes to your personal life here as well. Um, with the Knight of Cups, I will say, guys, very interesting because we have the Knight of Swords in the same spread, but with the Knight of Cups, I definitely see you, again, following your heart. There's a focus on what makes you happy. And some of you are working towards something that makes you happy, but maybe it's about changing the approach or doing something in a new way. Full card. 
okay? The Fool card, especially with the Ace of Swords, could be a new beginning for you. So it doesn't mean that you're changing an entire idea or leaving a job behind, but you're having a change of perspective. And with the Ace of Swords, you're gaining that clarity that you have been seeking for quite some time here. Ace of Swords is all about clarity. It's it's almost like a breakthrough in a situation, especially because you guys have the Ten of Wands here. So again, you know, in your life right now, what feels tedious, what feels mundane, what feels like you've been working towards it every single day, but you're dreading it. That's where you're having a breakthrough. So this could be you working on a relationship, amending a relationship. This could be your financial situation. This could be you, uh, you know, trying to get a side business started, but feeling like it's, you know, um, not occurring the way that you want it to or there's a lot of obstacles or blockages but i do see these blockages being removed because with the ace of swords that's like the yes card in tarot so that's a breakthrough for you is what i see here um with the fool card you know stepping out of your comfort zone is a really big deal this week right so um not only stepping out of your comfort zone but being comfortable with the unknown you're again the a very persistent message is not receiving all the answers that you want right away but it doesn't mean that you're not going to receive the answers at all it's just having that courage and saying you know what i'm going to push forward because i know things will make sense <clears throat> or I know things will come full circle, even if it doesn't feel that way right now. So it's believing in what's not currently tangible. Kind of like that high priestess energy here is what I see. Now, we do have the seven of swords and the knight of swords there. So, um, you know, the advice would be not to act impulsively or say anything impulsively. Someone may want your reaction this week. Okay, so this could be someone who's trying to trigger a reaction from you or they're saying something to uh, get under your skin here. But with the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords, you know, maybe, look, well, the advice here is not to respond impulsively. You know, you may be upset or you may want to give someone a reaction, but think about it first and say, you know what, do I just feel like that in the moment and is this something that I will later regret? Okay, and with the Seven of Swords and Knight of Swords, you know, the the uh, person that wants your attention could definitely be someone that was dishonest with you in the past. It definitely could be someone where you felt a sense of betrayal here. Now, the second scenario with the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords is something can happen very quickly for you, but it involves strategy. Okay, so if this is like a workplace setting and you want... Um, you know, to move or you want to, uh, whether it's, you know, move locations or you actually want a different position in your current job, the strategy for just a generic example may be contributing an idea, right? But not telling anyone else about it. It's like, you know, Seven of Swords doesn't necessarily have to be dishonesty or hiding something in a bad way. Sometimes a Seven of Swords is strategy or keeping something to yourself because you're looking out for yourself. So, Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords could definitely be some sort of, um, or the energy behind it or the scenario that I'm getting here is you could, you could achieve something fairly quickly or much more quickly than you anticipated, but it does require strategy. It may even require you to keep your ideas to yourself, right? So if you have a plan or if you have an idea or if you have, um, you know, a different approach, maybe just do it and then speak about it instead of speaking about it and then doing it. Because if you speak about it, you know, who knows, you know, if someone is listening and they're going to do exactly what you're saying. So be cautious of your surroundings. And um, something about strategy here is coming through very strongly for you guys, as especially if you want to get something done fairly quickly here. Um, Six of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so in your potential outcome, what I see is you moving away from a mentality of lack. I also see you moving to calmer waters. So it's like your main focus here could be peace of mind. And what is current currently mentally affecting you, which could be your finances or um, not feeling as stable as you could be, is coming to an end. Because the Six of Swords is when you're making peace with a situation, you're no longer, you know, stressed out about something, uh, you know, mentally. Either way, I see a breakthrough in something that feels draining for you this week. I see a celebration here also, and um, a need to kind of step out of your comfort zone or just be yourself. Uh, the other message, obviously, that I was getting here, guys, for you to sum up your reading is um, keeping your ideas to yourself or being cautious of your surroundings. Right. Sometimes it's not even about someone else, uh, you know, doing something before you or, uh, you know, stealing your idea, as they would say. It's more so like 
you may have a large idea, but if you share it with, you know, small minded people, they may say something that's discouraging that may throw you off of your path. And right now, you know, with your cards here, there's no room for distractions. It's just about going in the direction that you know you're supposed to be going in. Other people's opinions don't matter, um, you know, this week. It's about what you want and it's about following your heart with the Knight of Cups. So let's see what your closing message is. Faith. Miraculously, amazingly, everything I need always comes. Love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagine. And this is what I'm um, this is what I was getting at, guys, with the uh with what I was saying a couple of minutes ago. Believing in what's currently not tangible. Maybe everything is not clear to you. Maybe you don't you you don't have all the answers, but it will all make sense, right? As you take the first step or the second step, or as you, you know, continue to progress here right? Um, and it says, amazingly, everything I need always comes. So believing that, you know, what's meant for you will always be for you. And detaching from, uh, you know, a specific outcome or just detaching from a situation and saying, you know what, if it's meant for me, it will always be for me. It's not something that I need to force or it's not something that I need to uh, chase. Okay. And then it also says, love is opening Sorry, love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagine. So, you know, the more you are open to receive, you know, love is the highest vibration. So letting go of any sort of anger, any sort of sorrow, any sort of, you know, whatever emotion is holding you back, you need to let go of that and you need to vibrate from maybe a frequency of love or just being open to receive and your reality will change. So for some of you, the Ten of Wands could even be, you know, some sort of burden that you're carrying. Maybe this is emotional baggage and it's draining you and it's weighing you down. And this week you're like, you know, no more of this. I want to cut this out so that I can rise above or so that I can feel free again. Okay. So my wonderful Sagittarius, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.